Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, everyone, where in our previous episode, our adventurers explored another deep cavern and pit, and then went back to our main cav- the main cavern they were in before the other big pit, and then traveled on throughout the depths. They reached a cavern which has a small lake in it, and there was a cabin on the northeast side of the lake and a passageway further on the northwest side of the cave. The adventurers just came, uh, walked towards the cabin and saw someone in it, and a human just opened the door. So that's where we'll start this episode. The human says, I don't see your kind here very often. At all, really. I don't see your kind very often either. Fair point. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing down here? We could ask you the same question. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Mom, I think he just lives here. He is right. I do live here. I've lived here since I was born, and my father before me, and my father before him. His father before him. I mean, there was the war. That drove us here for safety. The we thought that if we stayed above ground, we would all be killed due to what all the humans had been doing. Now that I've told you that, why are you down here? We're looking for a group called the Shardana. Do they have blue tinged skin? They do. Yes, <laughs> they do. <laughs> they pass through here. About a week ago now, where some. <laughs> with some captives of different kinds of people. Not very many humans I saw, which can be expected, I guess. But, like, human. but elves and dwarfs and tieflings, all that. all of those races pass through here in cuffs and chains. How many captives? There are probably a couple thousand, no. maybe a bit more, maybe five thousand. Are you trying to save them? Is that We're why you're here? here? We can. I see. Uh, if you want to find them, they are past, like, going through the passageway over there. And he, point, he points to the northwest section of the cavern. Uh, are these Shardana? You would consider them evil, right? I would, yes. Okay. Most definitely. If you want, I can help you on your way. How so? I can take it on and try to help fight with any P any Shridana or demons or anything that might come in the way. I'll pipe up and say, <laughs> <laughs> I just know. I know. <laughs> How can we trust you? Why would the uh, Shridana just leave you alone? Uh, the demons, they could leave me here. They're warrior. We've always fended them off with different magic or fighting and traps and stuff like that and they've always been wary of us for some reason so you're a magic user i am sir are you good in a fight uh i am I i'm i'm a bit old but i'm fairly good at, in fighting still right well i suppose the party agreeing we'd leave it up to you we don't have any desire to bring you into danger with us, but we can't stop you from playing with us either. I would like to try to pay back the ferocities that humans have done over the years. Can I insight this guy and see sure. the I think he's being? I got a 22. Can I arcana him to see no, how his magic totally. is? Yeah, sure. Uh, you know your boy's got a 12. Uh, so the two of you are pretty sure he's telling the truth. Okay, sick. Right. That's a nat oh, 18 plus 3, so 21. Uh, you're pretty sure that he is quite proficient in magic. Okay, cool. And do you believe that he might be a uh, sorcerer? Alright. Cool. Uh, how are we doing? Uh, do we need to take a rest? If you guys would like to rest, I can let you in my cabin. Might as well. Because we're not like on a time coach um, or anything. What's your name, by the way? I am a carp. Pardon Bless you, you. wizard. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Al Carl. Al Carl. A L Q U A R R O. At this point, 
Blaze will come back from around the house because he realizes his friends haven't joined him, and he'll be like, "Hey, what's going on? <laughs> ah, what's that? Nothing. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I'll see the old guy, and I'll see all of them, and be like, oh, "What did I miss? What did I miss? Nothing important. I don't believe you, but <laughs> <laughs> what? I've told you my name. What are yours? I'm Ryan Rubenheim. I was gonna say where I'm from, but <laughs> not gonna say it. Just ended on a really high note. <laughs> just... You're really excited to introduce yourself. This guy's cool. I'm Bye. Lazarus Sunstar. I'm Blazing Sunrise. No, but you can call him Blaze. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Most people do. Um, yeah, I am Theron, and this is Maul. <laughs> My name's Aaron. No. You can call him Maul. <laughs> 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 don't. <laughs> Please, don't. It's great to see other people around here. I don't really see many uh, very often. Uh, is there a reason for the mask? Like, may I ask? I, I, I endured a, a great battle. Wound. Okay. Being ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, I was just intensely burned. Makes sense. Is it? We, we, we don't know if that's true or not. Right? Nope. You know. No. Well, I know that he's human, but I don't think I've ever seen him without the mask. He's never, yeah. No one's ever seen him without Can the mask. Can I incense? Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> 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 How can you insight? I would like to roll a die to specify whether this bitch be lying. <laughs> I got a nine. I got an eleven. What do you need to roll insight for, Duncan? Your character knows. I know that he's human. I don't know if he's scarred or not. Yeah, they don't know. No one's seen my uh, insight body. is. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your secrets. Twelve. Oh, I know yeah. everything. Uh, I got an eleven. So I even right know his you. birthday. You probably you're not sure if that's the reason why he asked the mask or not. You're you don't th- you don't know whether it is or isn't. So we okay. So to he's possibly lying about having a, an injury. He took that family photo from the house and then dodged all my questions regarding if he had any attachments towards it. You are officially on the suspect list. <laughs> <laughs> first last also, in first yeah, I just don't believe a single word. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So no, he hates right. dolphins. I, what could he be? <laughs> what is he trust you? Like, is he secretly a dolphin? That one night, you know. That sounded yeah. bad, but, <laughs> no, no. you know. By bonding, we mean we did the you're... dirty. Before, yeah, but, like, now I kind of... Yeah. That one romantic night by the campfire. <laughs> and then he <laughs> for like hours. You touched mine, and I touched your... <laughs> uh, would you like to come in? Do you need to rest? Do you need food or anything like that? Um, what does everyone think? I wouldn't mind. I say we've we been down forward. here a while. <laughs> How long have we been down here? Uh, it's probably been about, like... It's probably only been about a day. A fortnight. Okay, but yeah. it's been almost a day straight of just yeah. traveling. We haven't rested yet. Wouldn't mind getting some spells back. I agree. Uh, rest would be best. Do you, need, do you need a short or long? I think long rest. Isn't that all spellcasters? I think warlocks can get on short. Okay. Yeah, I would need long rest, though. So. Come in! Come in, then. I'll get some be- bedding set up and some food ready. If you need any, I don't trust this guy. So I'm gonna snoop around. Him. I'm gonna snoop around his house while he gets stuff ready. Okay, uh, are you trying to do the stealthily? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just roll a stealth check. <laughs> yeah, walking back. So <laughs> hey, Blaze, what are you doing? Uh, I'm snooping through your shit. Uh, would that be stealth or sleight of hand? Because if he's trying to take stuff, I'm not st- taking things. No, no. I guess I'm just, just stealth. stealth. I'm just looking around, yeah, rummaging no. through his shit, yeah, looking at what he is. I just, like, imagine if he just wasn't, he just ran up, he's just, like, flying up in cupboards and stuff, you know? 24. Ooh. Oh. He doesn't see you snooping around. All right, what do I learn? Uh, you see a few picture frames of what you assume would be his father and mother. His father before his father. Yeah. <laughs> and that father. And his that. third cousin before his fourth cousin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you just find some knickknacks that he's kept from, like... From his father and his father before him. His cousin and his, and his third before cousin him. before yeah. him. And, yeah. and you do find a, a sword that is engraved with the name Demon's Bane. Can I and Arcana check that sword? Sure. Demon's Damn, son. Where'd you find that? Damn, son. Twelve. Huh? 
Uh, you're not really sure how magical it could be. Okay. You, you think there might be magic coming from it, but you're not sure. But I can discern that it's a good blade. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else I decipher? Or uh, you do find a shield under his bed. Uh, that has the the symbol of Thander on it. I think it's a sun. Uh, a it's a trail leading off into sunset. Yeah. Uh, and you just find a few of his personal belongings and stuff like that. Okay. I will pick up the sword and bring it over to him, though. Okay. Because uh, I'm curious. Ah, you've been snooping around, I see. <laughs> no, I tripped and fell and landed right on this. Uh, I'm in <laughs> immense pain. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I saw it. it, it I, I, is it magical? Uh, it is, yes. When my grandfather first, when my grandfather and his family first came here, uh, they, he had a weapon forged to keep us safe from demons and devils. So this weapon is really good against demons and devils. If in the right hands, it could be. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, I'll put it back though for now. Okay. Yes. Please don't steal his stuff. For now. And uh, would you please stop rummaging, rummaging around my house, please? I wasn't rummaging. I don't know what you're talking about. Sure, you were. You didn't see anything, old man. <laughs> <laughs> And he's just, like, starting to make a meal of, like, some potatoes and vegetables and some unknown meat. He can't really tell what it is. Can I do an insight on it? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to insight as well. I don't Honestly. need to eat, but... I rolled a 19. I rolled an 8. Uh, 9. I don't. Tr- it fits my character. I don't trust him. He might be poisoning us. Uh, you believe that it is the meat from from some like underground monster mole. Mole? Is it a mole? No, no, it's not <laughs> mole meat. Uh, They're underground. They're monsters. Monsters. Fish people. I feel like that little Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I got your Jack Sparrow reference. Thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate that. Oh, they're beastie. Yeah. Oh, what a final words of a badass. Great movies. Yeah, the, the first three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the last one's good, too. I did like the last one. Stranger uh, Tides was also fun, but dumb. Like, I've enjoyed all of them, but the first three are definitely the best ones. First one is the best one. Let's go. <laughs> what? What is that? The Black Spot. The oh, oh, okay, right. <laughs> it took me a second. Uh, you believe it's the meat from a carrion crawler? Gross. That's nasty. Can I see the picture? I'm not eating that. Uh, Whatever. Listen, I appreciate the hospitality, but I'm a polite declination from Old Blaze. <laughs> I'll dig in. Suit yourself. I'll, I don't know what it is. I bought but... rations. I remember buying those, <laughs> so I'm going to eat some of them. Yeah, I'll accept the meal. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm not eating it because I don't need to eat it. I don't need sleep. I don't need eat. I need vengeance. <laughs> I need we go in a mall. Hell yeah. As we're reacting. Hell yeah. Yeah. But going to mall? Hell yeah. <laughs> so while you guys are eating and whatnot, uh, Alcaro is going to ask you guys, what what's it up like there now nowadays? Like up in the open world. Fire and brimstone. <laughs> well, that no, that's not quite how it is. But, um, thank you for trying. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell him down. Just... No, the world up there is, uh, it's a little bit unruined. The Shodana have vacated a couple of cities. Like, vacated. <laughs> um, stealing the people. Taking them prisoner. We're trying to find them so we can bring them back, obviously. Okay. And deal with the threat. But so far, other than that, it's not terrible up there. The, the, there's no war as far as I know. Are there still humans alive? No, not really. If there are, they're very rare. It seems the other side won. That's what I thought would happen eventually. Do you know how long ago that war ended? I haven't actually been up at all during my life here. It would have been. It would have ended around two hundred years ago. Well, I think. How old is this dude? He's, like, probably in his 70s. I don't know if this will come as a shock to you, probably, but it's been about 200 years. Oh, take. really? Wow. 
very long time. Wow. Okay. Uh, so it probably would have been his uh, grandfather's father who first came down here, or even his father at that. Yeah, the world your great great grandfather would have known is probably gone for sure. Okay. And he kind of just is kind of looks deep in thought at this. This is great food, by the way. Oh, thank you, thank you. I not much of a cook, but I try my best. Uh, what do you know about these Shardana, besides that they've vacated these cities, as you say? They possess powerful teleportation magic. And they have taken over cities, killing kings, or trying to anyway. Because <laughs> we, we saved the one, eh, boys? Yes. Yeah, uh, but no, uh, they, they've they been going around to major cities and uh, demanding either surrender or murder. And uh, they've killed... Uh, Lots of people, or taking them captive down here through immense pe- teleportation. Do you know how many there are? You just seem probably like a few thousand. At least a few thousand. Huh, okay. I didn't see that many come past here. There's only like probably 20, maybe like 50 of them leading all of the prisoners as they seem to be. Do you know the, the path they took? I think I do, yeah. I think that uh, they went through the passageway to the northeast of here, northwest of here, and that leads through a small town of deep gnomes. And I believe there's a there's a path out there. I think they probably followed through. So you would be able to perhaps guide us, most likely. All right. Well, I don't have an issue personally with you coming along the journey. You're the only one that seems to know the way. It's better than us trying to find it in the darkness. And I feel I think that if you're with me, the deep gnomes won't bother you at all. In the yeah. next village over. The less trouble we run into, the better. That's true. That's true. We can't say no to a bodyguard. Well, um, I should probably get some rest. Of course, of course. And I'll just put that bowl and go find a place to okay. sleep. Yeah, he's like made a few things of bedding for each of you. Gnarly. <laughs> I will pretend bro. to go to sleep. Okay. For the first of all, I'm just gonna um, situate myself against the wall by the door. Okay. Um, I will rest part of the night, but um, I I do trust this fellow, but I also am kind of wary of him. Uh, is everyone else just taking a long rest? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I, uh, I'm going to I just take a short rest because okay. I want to get my key points back, but I I also want to look at the sword again. Okay, see if I can get a better read or take some notes on it. Uh, is it a long the time? sword is in his, in his room, like that's where you found it. Mm-hmm. So you'd have to go into his room where he's sleeping. That's is cool. old man sleeping too? Pardon? Is old man sleeping too? That it, uh, yeah, he would be. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll sneak in and I'll just snatch it out and take some time studying it. Okay, roll a stealth check, and then sleight of hand. Ooh. Eleven for stealth. Uh, he wakes up when you're in his room. Uh, I hide. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he is already, like, yeah. Uh, roll a I, stealth no, no, no. check, then, no, no, I guess. No, roll this shit. <laughs> no, I walked up. I'm like, oh, I didn't mean to wake you. I didn't mean to wake you. I was just, I'm sorry. Well, I didn't mean to wake you. Uh, where's the restroom? <laughs> it's outside. Oh! You just hear screams coming from us. Okay, I thought maybe you had like a toilet or something. We're right next to a lake. Uh, Okay, (laughs) sorry. I just really had to go. And I slowly back out of the room and I make my way outside. I close the door to make it sound convincing. Okay. (laughs) And I just stand outside for a few seconds like I need to use the washroom. Okay. Are you going to wait him out until he falls back asleep? Maybe. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, When you eventually go back inside, you do hear like him lightly snoring again. Okay. Uh, I'm going to peek in and see if he is actually asleep. He does look to be asleep. I can just ask him about it when he wakes up. It's not my style. <laughs> what lazy. I have a plus six <laughs> stealth. I'm going to try it one more time. <laughs> if this goes wrong, I'm probably going to get kicked out. But Oh, yeah, he's 24 one, again. He's the one that owns the pit. 24. Uh, you did not wake him up. Okay. So now roll a sleight of hand to get it. He's, like, sleeping with a sword, like, wrapped around in his arms. <laughs> oh, 
just cut off his arms. Oh, no. <laughs> what is it? That one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So as you grab the sword, it actually makes a lot of noise. What? Like you actually like hit something as you grab it. <laughs> and it wakes Alcaro up. <laughs> and he says, Lays. Please. Don't stop. I'll kill myself. <laughs> Please, <laughs> put, down, put down the sword. And... Put it down. And go outside, please. You're not welcome in this building. I knew it was going to come this cabin. I just wanted to look at it! And then you I'll, could I'll, have I'll, asked. <laughs> okay, I'll leave. <laughs> I'll leave the building. Wow, wow, you're like a child. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Damn it. He's such a good stealth. Go to the corner and think about what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a dunce cap. <laughs> God uh, damn it! <laughs> I'll just walk outside. Okay. I still uh, don't trust him anyway, so... Okay, okay. so uh, morning has come around now. Well, not really morning, but an, a night's rest has yeah. come around now. Would we know, like, uh, what time of day it is, approximately? But probably since not. Probably not. I'm pretty sure... You'd have you... a difficult time telling. You could roll a... a survival check to should figure it out. Might as well. That's a 12. Uh, that or the Underdark. Yeah, you're not really sure exactly what time it would be right now. Okay. You assume you've been down here for more than a day, though. Okay. Are we in the depths? That's all you need to know. Underdark? You're in the depths. The Underdark is the pit you guys were looking down. We should all just jump down there. The bone, the, the bone pit? No, the other one. The, oh, the other one, one. yeah. It's like the demons and stuff. Oh. No, no. Pretty sure that's a <laughs> bit of a jump that we could... Yeah. Not live through. But I all guarantee that. you, Gitch doesn't have planned anything down there. So if we do that, we'll, <laughs> we'll put him to death. <laughs> Instant <laughs> death. Make new characters. Stop breaking the rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The ass comes out of the hole, kills you all. Yeah. All right. So you wake up in a cart. <laughs> <laughs> Hands are bound. <laughs> it's a good joke. Oh, you're suddenly awake. <laughs> all right, sorry. You and that thief over there. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, yeah. so you guys wake up, and Alcaro will ask, will like have any food if you guys want to eat and drinks too. I'll and take some mama's bread. He'll ask you. <laughs> he'll ask you guys if you guys would like to depart right now. No reason not to. Yeah, I'd be okay with getting a move on. Does he have any ale? Uh, he does. Yeah. Can you ask him. Well, he, he said yeah. he was offering. Yeah. 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 I would offering suggest this. asking, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's the place? He's just standing outside looking through the window. <laughs> no, I've actually went on ahead just, like, look, like, not, like, by myself. I just, like, looking around, scouting ahead. Okay. Okay, so, uh, he gets you some ale and he says, this is brewed here because there's not much wine or ale anywhere else we can get here. Besides the gnome village. Do you happen to have any health potions on you? I do not. No. Unfortunately. Can I insight his ale? I just want to know like, what he makes it out of. You could just ask him. It's probably brewed from <laughs> testicles. I would suggest just asking him. <laughs> uh, how do you make it? It's made from some of the seaweed from in the water, actually. It's a very difficult... Uh, production, but it works. Um, Alright, I take a cautious sip of, okay. the, <laughs> of his ale. Um, uh, it... it actually tastes pretty good. Like, there's a slightly, like, off taste about it, just because it's, like, made from seaweed. Yeah. Uh -huh. But otherwise, it does taste like ale, and it tastes pretty good. Alright, I just pound that back, okay. and then I hand him my glass, and I say, Very good, thank you. Thanks, I'm glad you liked it. Uh, so, should we disembark? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, he'll open the door for you guys and let you guys come out and then follow out and then lead the way. And as he's leading the way, he'll just say, uh, You don't need to pay, pay any mind to those water weirds in the water. They just... They actually kind of help keep the demons and devils and other beings away. Hey, old man, yeah. you gonna bring that cool sword of yours? He does have his sword with him. Okay. Yeah. Hey, old man. <laughs> I do have a name. Lazarus. <laughs> oh. 
Do not forget your manners. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he'll lead the way through this passageway, and there's one point where there's a fork in the road. You can either keep going straight or go to the right. Uh, he keeps on going straight, and he'll say, that's actually a dead end over that way. Just leads to uh, another abandoned uh, cabin. Nothing there anymore, unfortunately. And he kind of looks deep in thought for a second. Some rivals of yours? No, some friends. That is actually the house that my uh, my mother came from, according to my father. I look at Farron to see if he's showing any interest. I'm just going to walk over to him and kind of pop him on the show and be like, here, and now I'm going to hand him a photo that I took from that. Okay. Uh, he, he kind of looks at you and then looks at the photo, and he seems really surprised. Uh, he seems kind of surprised and says, oh, you went uh, to the other home, I see. And he looks kind of there's like a twinkle of sadness in his eye. That was my great grandmother's ho- home, according to my great grand, according to my grandfather. What happened to them? Uh, just life down here isn't the greatest, so eventually it took its toll on them and everyone from this the house over there too. Well, at least you have this photo. Thanks. I appreciate it. And that cool sword. <laughs> you got that. That's pretty dope. I hope it brings you some comfort. Thank you very much. It will. And he'll keep on leading the way, and eventually you go around a curve, and you see that a huge cavern just ends up opening up, and you see some like stone-made buildings, and it and some paths and some deep gnomes and you assume that this is a small deep gnome village. Uh, this is the village of uh, fuck, why don't I ever give names to anything? This is the village of Magnin. Magnin? Yeah. I think it's been here for centuries and centuries. At least three days. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was here since before my great great grandparents both came here. It's a nice place? Uh, if you're on good terms with them, it can be. Uh, deep gnomes can sometimes be unfriendly to outsiders, but I think if you're with me, it should be fine. There are different shops and stuff like that here if you wanted to go to any. As well as, as, well as some shrines, too. But they're mostly the gnome and deep gnome gods, such as Garl Glittergold. Uh, should we, would you guys like to just pass right through, or was there where you would want to stop for supplies or food or anything like that? Well, a couple more potions would be nice. Would they even do business with us? Uh, if I'm with you, they might. I say if we do, we leave Blaze outside because he's a little, uh, contrary. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck both of you. I'll do what I want. And I go on ahead anyway. <laughs> Are you, like, sticking with the group, though? Uh, I'll, I'll stick with them. Okay. There's no sense going off on my own, but I'm coming anyway. Uh, so as you walk through here, you do see all the deep, deep gnomes are looking at you guys kind of warily. Not like they would attack or anything at this moment, but just no, they're wary right. of you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you wanted to go to a potion shop? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alcaro will say, uh, there's only one uh, alchemy shop here, but I'll take you to it. Uh, and he takes you around town to this building that is completely made of rocks. Uh, there's a sign above called uh again i wish i thought of stuff quicker uh called what is it a potion yeah uh, alchemix anomalous anomalous cool <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah that's good I dig it. and he'll lead the way into the building 
Uh, hello, he says to the deep gnome inside. Uh, what kind of potions do you have here? And the deep gnome will just tell you of all of the potions he has. There are some, there are, he has five regular healing potions, one of invisibility, one of, uh, speed, okay. and one of, uh, one that'll just help you, uh, and like a few that'll just help you sleep and stuff like that. Okay. And like help with general general ailments and stuff. So like, not an outright sleeping potion that'll put you to sleep, but just like it'll just help you sleep. Uh, there's one that'll put you to sleep, and then there's some others that are just like medications or whatever. Nyquil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for the. Can we have a, a poison called Dyquil? Nice. Nice. <laughs> I like that. Uh, the deep gnome will say, yeah, sure. Uh, it'll be 20 gold pieces. And then Elkar will kind of look at you guys and say, it's pretty expensive here. There's not a lot of uh, competition, and not many people buy a lot here, so it's usually high prices. I'm a charming person. I can haggle. <laughs> I'll leave it up to you then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 20 gold is actually decent for a potion, because healing is 50. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, good, good, good. You're the worst. You always haggle. I DM'd for you <laughs> once, and it drove me insane. <laughs> uh, so, so the deep gnome will ask if you'd like the sleeping potion? I'll take two of them. Uh, I only have 75 gold on me, though. There's so only one, healing, one sleeping potion, and no. then the rest were, like... Uh, Medication to help you sleep. I'll take two healing and that sleeping potion over there. Okay, uh, that'll be 120 gold pieces, please. You're killing me, man. 120? <laughs> this is a deal for you. Mm. Well, the thing is, I only brought 110 with me. <laughs> Roll deception. How much did you bring? Oh, we'll see. <laughs> deception. Did I ever? What did I do with that bunch of money? Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, forget. You deceive him. Fine. Then one ten. That's a deal. Okay. And he'll give you the potions. Okay. And then I'm also going to give you the sleeping potion, and pay off the rest of the debt. It's not. No. <laughs> no. No. I'm saying I'm giving you the sleeping potion and gold. Oh, and the, okay. To pay off the rest of the debt. Let's say like an extra hundred. Yeah, so Are I'm you like giving him the money like in the store? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna, don't just get I'm gonna take the up. potions. I'm gonna turn around, give him the sleeping potion with a sack of gold, and be like, "Here, <laughs> this <laughs> makes this even." Uh, the <laughs> deep gnome does not look happy about this. I'll turn to the deep gnome and be like, "I'm giving you, you eight gold." Let that guy scam you like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've done business. I think you can leave now. Yeah, this makes him like us more. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm not leaving. I'm gonna talk to the deep gnome. I want to see if he'll answer any questions. Okay. Well, like I'm. No, I mean like I'm not really associating myself with them at the moment because I don't want him to kick me out. Well, he came in with them. I know, so. but I mean like I don't want to get kicked out. I want to ask him some questions. Okay. He's I didn't not scam happy him. with that. With all of you though. <laughs> the fuck did I? <laughs> the one time Blaze behaves. <laughs> Thanks, man. Was there anything else? Yes, you. I was just gonna Plus ask you. Sternly. I'm gonna. A I just wanted to ask you some questions. We're looking for people. What kind of people? Uh, the Shardana. I don't know any names of that. Okay. Can I insight him? I want to see if he's lying. If you're still in the building, I'm sure. Yeah. I, I want to see if he's lying. Um, I just want to know if he's like, if he's like, yeah. like, oh, I don't know of them. Like, if only I could, like, something would oh. rejog my memory. No. Nat 20. That Name is prop. a Nat 15 plus 2, so 17. I got a 6. Uh, you guys believe that he doesn't actually know anything of the name for data? I'll raise my paws. I'll be like, okay, okay. I was just asking. We'll leave. No need to start trouble. And I'll just leave the building. Okay. Are there any enchanted shops? Uh, when you ask this to you, Alakara, well, Alakara well, will say, Unfortunately, there aren't, uh, there's not a lot of shops in this town. Pretty much just to keep people alive and food and stuff like that. I want to go to Blacksmith. There is a blacksmith here. They have I can't a guarantee he's actually that great, because I've never actually 
oh, had him smith anything for me. I thought that I liked his name, but his quality. I just want to go meet him. Okay. So I can shit on his quality. <laughs> um, <laughs> does he still have that invisibility uh, potion? Or did someone buy it? I didn't catch that. I didn't know it. Uh, no one bought it. Okay. Um, got nobody to he doesn't really want to do How much was the invisibility potion? Uh, do you know how much invisibility potions normally are? Probably like five. <laughs> Hundred. <laughs> Uh, so, he'll tell you that the Potion of Invisibility costs 100 gold pieces. What about 60? How about 120? Because your friend kind of screwed me out of some money. I'm friends with no one. Then your companion screwed me out of money. I'm companions with no one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. 75. How about 150 then? You're not getting this potion, dude. 76. <laughs> what is your intelligence, like, four? <laughs> it's higher than that. I know he's not going to give it to me. You honest. know what? We're sold out of invisibility potions. And dude, you see it lie. right up there. <laughs> well, I, no, think, just lying to I think you guys should dude. leave. I'm already gone. I already walked out. Yeah. Why is every merchant we run into <laughs> just so mean? Cause it's because you're, 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 you're a fucking douchebag to them. Usually. Yeah, that's entirely your fault, usually. Yeah. Zach, Zach was this time. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's magic, right? Pardon? Visibility's a part of magic, right? Yeah. Damn, that's a very rare item. Yeah. So usually that costs about 5,000 to 50,000 gold pieces. Oh, really? That's what the value is, yeah. Like, what? For very For rare. Invisibility potion? Potion of invisibility is very rare. Oh, I, I wish I would have known yeah. that. <laughs> commons, <laughs> commons 50 to 100. Uncommons 100 to... 500. Mm. Rares 500 to 5,000. Very rares 5,000 to 50,000. In that case, can I sell my potion of greater visibility? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So he kind of just told you guys to leave. I'll take it for 150. <laughs> he says to leave. I'll, sure. I'll leave and be thanks for the business. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we'll leave off on this episode of Nat 20. Damn.